Want to know how to use peel and stick for a backsplash? Well then keep watching for the step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. The first step is to measure your wall. You want to find the length and width to know the square footage needed to buy the appropriate amount of rolls. Luckily for my project, I only needed one roll. Next, clean your wall. You want to get rid of any dirt and dust that could interfere with the wallpaper adhesive. While your roll is drying, it's the perfect time to measure and cut the wallpaper to the strips you need. You can measure two points on the back of the paper and use a ruler or straight edge to draw the line. To cut the first panel, I'm using the height of my backsplash, plus at least one inch on either side to give me some wiggle room. Then carefully cut with scissors. This wallpaper provided about an eighth of an inch sample of what the recurring design would be. It is also about how much you should overlap the peel and stick paper so it will look seamless. To cut the second panel, you want to align the design first. Mark where the top would be. I transferred the mark on the back of the paper to be able to draw a line. Then measure or use the first panel as a template for the length. You can use a T-square to draw a line and cut it down to size. Or you can measure two points with a ruler to draw your line. Label your panel to know which order to install them and it also helps to identify which is the top side of your panel. Repeat the process until you have as many panels as you need. Just remember, align your design, mark where the top of the design will be, measure and cut to the length required. Carefully peel back the wax paper from the wallpaper about six or more inches down. Place the peel and stick about one inch over. Unfortunately, uneven wall surfaces are a common issue even in newly built homes, as many people find out when hanging wallpaper. That's why professionals recommend wallpapering with the print overlapping over the wall's edges. Use a ruler or a hard plastic squeegee on flat surfaces to smooth out the bubbles as you pull off the wax paper. If you're working with a textured wall, I have a video with different tips for that type of installation. When you apply the second panel, it can be a little tricky. First, line up the design with the repeating pattern from the first panel. Then overlap the panels to cover the eighth of an inch hint that was provided. The purpose is to make the design look seamless and help prevent seams from opening between your panels as the peel and stick settles. Make sure the panel is as straight as possible when pressing the wallpaper into the top corner to help prevent any gathering or wrinkling. Be patient on this part since there are few simultaneous steps here. It is also recommended to work in small sections at a time. You want to make the adhesive have full contact onto your wall. When you get to the ends, press firmly into the corners to crease the paper, which makes it easier to cut. Grab a razor to cut the excess to get a clean cut from the bottom and the top. The last panel is usually the most challenging because you have three sides to work the extra material into the corners. I trim the width first to make it easier to handle. Luckily, peel and stick wallpaper is pretty forgiving, so if you make a mistake, you can just peel it up and try again, which I did many times. Always continue to smooth out any bubbles, but be careful not to stretch out the paper too much. There is no perfect technique here. You just wanna keep smoothing out the wallpaper in, in whatever direction that is working for you. Forgive me for the poor angle here, but I'm currently a one-woman show when making these videos. If you have trouble with the corners, you can use the hard plastic ruler or credit card to help guide your blade. And here is the final result. I was very happy with how it came out 
and the backsplash really did look seamless. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. And I will see you in the next video.